Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to manipulate your clips using a basic 3D. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we're inside of the Adobe Premiere Pro right now. We're gonna change this drop shadow. Let's change it with a basic 3D. All right, all right, I'm happy with that. Okay, we got basic 3D here. Let's uh, remove the shadows. All right, there you go. All right, now we have this basic 3D um, uh, text here. All right, so how to add a basic 3D? All we have to do is you, if you want to add a basic 3D on your video or in your text, all you have to do is to uh, go to effects uh, tab here and then search for basic 3D. And then once you have the basic 3D, all you have to do is to drag this basic 3D. You can find this effect, by the way, from video effects, perspective, then basic 3D. You can just simply drag and drop it to whatever footage you'd like to add this effect. So let's say we add this on our um, text here, all right, in the basic 3D text. Now, if we click on this and we go to effects control, scroll down, you will see the basic 3D properties in here that we can change. We have swivel, we have tilt, we have distance. All right, let's try to increase this. We have distance to image, we have spectacular highlight, we have preview. All right, so uh, what we can do, or uh, let's try to change the swivel first and let's see what's going to happen with the word. So, with the uh, swivel, let's try to change it. As you can see, if I swivel it, increasing it, it's rotating. All right, so if I'll swivel it to the left, drag it to the left, you'll see the negative. Uh, number on the swivel uh, it's changing as well rotating all right so i'm moving my mouse to the right all right all right so basically right left all right right moving to the right moving to the left all right that is the swivel okay let's undo it all right now let's try to look for tilt so if we're going to change this tilt uh there you go so i'm moving it to the right all right and then moving it to the left all right that's how you uh, change the tilt. So moving it to the right, sorry, moving it to the right, right, and moving it to the left. Okay, that's how the tilt works. Let's undo it. And then for the distance to image, all right. Currently, you are on the zero right now, so let's try to change it, and let's try to increase this and see what's going to happen. There we go. So it's like distance to the image is going far away if you increase it far far away but if you decrease the numbers on the uh, properties it's going near you all right so that is the uh, distance to image all right i'm putting it back to the right there we go okay all right now let's try to look for spectacular highlight all right okay so let's try to check this box with show spectacular highlight okay now i'm gonna show you this with our uh, with our picture, all right. So let's add a basic 3D in our picture. All right, there we go. It's in the lion now. So let's click on the lion and then scroll down. Let's go with the basic 3D here, and let's try to click on Show Spectacular Highlights and then swivel. All right, all right. So if we swivel it, so there's a light now. All right, spectacular highlight now that show up in our um photo. Now if you swivel the uh, photo, right. All right, as you can see, there's a sh there's a um, there's a highlight in there. There's a spectacular highlight that you can see, it's, it's, uh, meaning there's there's kind of light reflecting to our photo. All right, I'll try to make it a little bit larger. All right, um, let's go here with position. Let's try to scale it larger. All right, so that you can see it. There we go, and then let's try to um, okay, let's, okay, let's try to go to basic three D again. All right, let's change the swivel all right, to the right. As you can see, the lights is in there. So I'm changing it to the right, moving it to the right, and moving it to the left, all right? So there's a light in there. And then if you change the tilt, okay, moving it to the right, moving it to the right, and moving it to the left, all right? So you can see the spectacular light is right there. All right, there's some light, okay. And we have here a uh, small shadow. All right, let's go and try to change the distance to image, all right? Let's see. So I'm going to increase the distance of the image, all right? I'm dragging it to the right. Uh, so you can see, if I'm increasing it, 
it's like going gone now, all right? But if I'm gonna decrease the uh, uh, distance of the image, right, dragging to the left, you will see those spectacular light, all right? There you go. So again, moving it to the right, so it's currently on the zero number. I'm gonna change it to the right, all right? As you can see, all right, there's the distance of the image and then moving it to the left, all right? So you can play with this like, like that. So I'm gonna change the swivel right there. And then I'm gonna change it to tilt like that. All right, and I'm gonna put it back uh, again with a swivel. All right, and the good thing about this is you can make some animation in this, all right, by creating a keyframe. Let's say we're gonna start in this position, okay, and swivel. Let's try to change this swivel, decrease this, so that increase it, so that it will start right there, all right? And then, okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna create, I'm gonna put this toggle animation, all right? Let's see, let's create a toggle animation here. And then once we go here and this time, let's try to uh, put it back, all right? Put it back here, all right? Like that, there you go. So once we play this, let's see what's gonna happen, all right? There you go. So that's how you do the uh, basic animation inside of this basic 3D, right? So let's try to make it long. All right, there you go. Then try to play it. There you go. All right, that's how you do it. All right, basic 3D. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's try to do it again. There you go. It's the line's not there. Okay. All right. If you want to do, um, you know, smooth animation with that, you can change those keyframes. All right. You can change those keyframes if you want. right click on it and you you know put ease out all right and then you can change this right click on it and then ease in and then once you play with this all right it's going to be a smooth transition there you go all right basic 3d okay let's try to increase this we can see all right let's try it again play it There you go. So that's how you do a simple basic 3D inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.